As you know, space journeys can be incredibly long odysseys. The big question is, how do astronauts survive while traveling in space? How can they live and work as they would here on Earth? Spacesuits like the ones you will see a little later are an important first step. Nutrition-rich food is another. Space meals are very different to the ones you and I might eat, as loose crumbs or droplets of liquid can wreak havoc with sensitive instrumentation if they escape in zero gravity. Astronauts must eat dry, juiceless food in bite-sized portions. Worse still, small floating pieces of food might block astronauts' noses and suffocate them. As all food consumed must produce minimal bodily waste, the recipes used to make space meals are very special and carefully thought out. Since astronauts staying in zero gravity for long periods face problems such as loss of bone marrow and osteoporosis, the food they eat must also contain lots of bone-building calcium. Going to the toilet in space is also far more complex and dangerous than it is back on Earth. For this reason, space toilets are totally airtight vacuums that instantly suck waste away to stop it from escaping. Amazingly, even breaking wind in space can be fatal. Ultimately, the poisonous gas from a fart might accumulate in narrow, poorly ventilated flight cabins causing ventilation malfunctions that might suffocate or poison the astronauts inside. While it's never happened before, take it from us, it is possible. Surely drinking liquids is okay? Well, no. Astronauts cannot pour or guzzle water the way we do on Earth, as loose droplets will escape and float about dangerously. As a result, Space travelers must drink from special leak-proof space water bottles. Space food trays are also unique, featuring Velcro tapes to keep utensils and food in specially sealed bags in place. When it's time for bed, astronauts retire for the night in special sleeping bags with fastening belts to stop them floating around their capsule and hurting themselves or other crew members. While space seeds are the ones we'd plant in our gardens or window boxes, unique extraterrestrial occurrences such as solar storms can have an immense influence. Past space experiments have proved that such storms can alter the genetic structures of common seeds, making veggies and fruits like cucumbers and tomatoes grow differently once back on Earth. Space tomatoes, for example, have been known to reach the size of a human head. Although science has yet to find practical applications for these changes, experiments show that produce grown from space seeds tends to be of better quality.